viewers welcome to our channel planning b6 today we are here with a new topic of how we can add expenses and control the cost of the project and how we can track our expenses by using primavera p6 software this is necessary you can see your project overall cost in a one sheet and you can export these sheets in a separate excel sheet and you can also track your procurement and other activities costs individually so let's move forward to our topic i have already opened my primavera p6 open it this procedure is similar to my previous topic which is wps and documents work products and documents then you can show your expenses from here by using this customize option this one expenses you can open from here as well you can open from project you can see here this one is our expenses open it here the expenses item expenses items we will add new items here and then first of all you have to create an account for your cost so go to the enterprise before adding your expense you have to create a cost account where you are depositing your vendor account or whatever you have to create in that one here is the cost account option open it now this window will open add a cost account okay then this one is our cost account just say vendor is a b c and sorry account number is this one for the vendor and vendor is a b c you can add too many accounts for here and then abc you can see here then you have to add if you want to add the description you can add description here modify and add vendor for for material material you can also control these fonts and change fonts color each and everything from here okay now the description is here and then also you can delete or mark the accounts with by using this tab you can shift your account right left like that with the similar method now we have created one account for example and then close it now we will add expenses to our activities in general first of all you will add expense and select your activity which activity you want to add a expense okay excavation we want to expense to this activity expenses item rent for excavator expense category you will add the category for categories if you don't found the category from here you can by using the admin preferences now i will explain first how you can add the expense category by your own wish go to the admin then admin categories go to the expense and categories now you can add here a new category new expense category a b c r card to your project whatever you wish you can add shift down at the last okay close it now you can see the a b c here other all major categories are there but if you want to any additional you can add like this equipment yes rent equipment add this one wbs okay cost account if you want to select this cost account okay we we'll create this one abc okay document number 
if there is an invoice number suppose one one two two three three like invoice number or any document number you can mention from there activity activity is this you can see here the primary resources and each and everything is signed you can you don't change here if you want to change anything you can change as well we will be at the end of the activity just change this one a coral type and then go to the costs in cost you can see here budget units 00, zero. budget units for 100 and actual units update this activity this will update by automatically if you want to write manually then you can write it manually as well and then price per unit is 12 and unit of Maya is here and then price per unit here cubic meter running meter like that you can write here and then budget cost is this one and actual cost when we update this will be automatically update when you will update your project and just check if you want to auto complete actual just this tab it will be automatically updated description if you want to add description then go to the modify and uh, write and you can format this by using with the same method which already described in my too many tutorials you can see and change from there okay example is there if you want to add the any of your extra columns you can add from by using the user defined field from there as well and from here for them, this window for from here here you can just go to the project expenses and now you can add a column whatever invoices and here select what you want invoices finish date cost cost okay whatever you want to select you can select from here close it now customize the column customize column default cost activity customize if you want to see the cost this is cost for this activity and if you want to customize you can customize from here with these all by cost project expense category expense percent complete just for example add two or three two our invoices column is here you can see here apply okay now you can see here and even you can change from here this is method how you can expense add your expenses to your project and how you can track your project costs and you can use this method to control the cost of your project so for the printing or exporting the same method just i will explain by the for the printing option you can see like that and you can set your layout after setting layout you can print it and then for export you can go to the tools and then report wizard after the report wizard if you want to use this current screen select on use current screen if you want to generate a new report for the entire project you can select new report next here you can see here too many options for the cost expenses and categories here only for expenses category print and then project expenses here we will we want to project expenses next columns columns if you want to select any of column for your print you can add and uh, user defined from invoices okay apply okay group and sort if you want to group and sort or use any filter like uh, actual cost is equal to twelve hundred dollars and uh, and add new one and actual cost is equal to 
are not equal to greater than like that you can add the filters 1 to 0 apply ok then next you can write here the report title which project you want to save it okay, here next and then run the report run report you can export your report with these options we want in excel file if you have any notes you can write here we want to save on desktop okay project expenses okay next okay the report is creating this is how you can generate or create your expense reports report is opening now just minimize it then next if you want to save save it already saved okay and then finish it now we will open our report this is our report project expenses in excel file and for the excel you can format it as you wish as per your requirements okay now you can see here the all categories because we apply the filter there for the cost that's why the cost is not showing here otherwise columns are here any of the past item here you just did not apply the filters on that and then you can track with this method project expenses and you can call as a expense ledger or something as expense tracking ledgers like that like here subscribe and comment on our channel